planet Earth, art is in the middle of it. You can't escape it. It's the same thing if you're a Martian. YouTube has connected creative people from across the world. In other words, it's the heart of the artichoke. Millions of people have uploaded art to YouTube and it's our job to be the main artery for visual arts articulation on YouTube. My partners and I are smart. Together, we form a creative cartel and every month, this department will bring you articles that are on point and never artificial. I am Pablo Van Warhol. I'm the quarterback of this show. This is YouTube Art News. Welcome everybody to the first episode of YouTube Art News. We call it YouTube Art News because we cover art on YouTube. Very clever, don't you think? Yeah, me too. If you're an artist on YouTube and you want to tell us something that's newsworthy, please post it to facebook.com slash YouTube Art News. Let's start off today's show with art subscriber rankings. You can click on the channel names to visit the channels. So, emo kid, what do you think about that Mark Crilly? He's something else, isn't he? I'm depressed. Yeah, me too. We still don't have a visual arts category on YouTube. But they give a category to pets and animals. God bless America. I hate cats. But despite and the fact that YouTube me. hates us, it is still possible for an artist to go viral. This next segment by Josh Wadi will highlight a viral art video. I only like videos with zero views. In this segment of YouTube art... No? What is up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? This is Josh Whitey 16 aka Any Joshua Art, coming at you with my segment here on the YouTube Art News, simply titled, Viral Art Videos. These are the videos that you guys can't resist but to continuously click on and watch over and over and over and over again, therefore resulting in a viral art video. So in short, these videos can get anywhere from 50,000 to 100,000 to millions upon millions of views. That, my friends, is total insanity. So the viral art video featured today is entitled Paint the Sunset with Me. It has 850,000 views. It was uploaded by Bubsy Beauty. This painting is spectacular. Make sure that you go and check it out. Well, guys, that's all I have for you on this segment of viral art videos from the YouTube Art News. But I will leave you with one thing. Live life to its fullest. Keep your dreams high and keep your hopes even higher. Guys, continue to upload those awesome art videos to YouTube, and maybe next time you will be featured on viral art videos in the YouTube Art News. Teleport zzz. Light bulbs. They're the symbol of creativity. Sheep. They're furry, they follow things, and they make a lot of noise. I dated a girl like that once. In the next segment, YouTuber Matthew Kinney will enlighten you, <laughs> get it, will enlighten you, on sheep art. Hey everybody, just hanging out here with my friend Chrissy the Sheep, and uh, 
We wanted to talk to you about a, a great video that we saw on YouTube. It features some extreme shepherding. It was done by uh, the Ba Studs, Ba Studs, and uh, James Rouse, who was the director. It was actually a, a viral spot for, um, for Samsung LED televisions. And <laughs> let me tell you, it probably worked because I bought one. Anyways, you know, we overlook with Chrissy here, you know, with all the wool that she gives us and everything, is that sheep are a very dynamic art medium. And it was a great video because it showed all the different things that these shepherds could do with the sheep, um, which I just think showcases the, you know, the, the, the creativity of, of shepherds, uh, you know, an occupation that's been around for millennia. So when you get a chance, check it out. I'm sure you're going to be amazed because I know I was. And uh, click on the link at the end of this video and um, give it a look. All right. Teleport. Do you see this man? Well, remember his face. He programs the YouTube search algorithm. And he is a criminal. <gasps> I mean, nobody's perfect. I myself am a chronic jaywalker. But it is a crime that Michael Shapcott has only 3,500 subscribers. His channel is Red Lung, and his work is profiled by our 2D correspondent, Thad Taylor. Hey guys, it's Thad for Thad Taylor Art, and... Today, for my first feature of a 2D artist, I'm going to be featuring the talented Michael Shapcock. He's a wonderful portrait artist that uses oil and acrylic paint to create beautifully fluid paintings. He's a wonderful draftsman as well. He uses very fine detailed under sketches under all his paintings. He uses drips and splatter techniques to add more depth into his portraits. And if you know anything about me, you know I love drips. His videos are awesome and above all entertaining. His music selection is great, so click the playlist below and go watch some of his awesome work. While you're in the mood of clicking on stuff, click here to go watch me and my timeless videos and tutorials. Thanks guys, and see you on the next 2D Artist feature. Bye. Wait, hold on. This just in. We interrupt this program for some breaking news. Breaking news. Big deal. It appears that Tyler from Tyler's Art Shack scored an interview with one of the biggest artists on YouTube, Tim Gagnon from Gagnon Studio. Let's go to them live. What's going on everybody? My name is Tyler from Tyler's Art Check here on YouTube and you are watching YouTube Artist Interviews. So for my first YouTube art news video, I was fortunate enough to meet up with Tim Gagnon from Gagnon Studio on YouTube. He was in the city doing an art expo and I met up with him and I was lucky enough to do an interview. Check it out. How did you first start getting following? I started out with YouTube, um, YouTube and Facebook, and actually MySpace back when MySpace was popular. <laughs> a long time um, ago, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It was like what two years ago. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, once once you get a following, you know, I had someone who had a million subscribers promote one of my videos, which <laughs> kind of snowballed a little bit even more. So. Yep. So if you can get somebody to do that, it kind of helps a lot. I'm sure it does. All right, YouTube. What do you think the best way to promote your videos would be? Uh, probably through Facebook. Um, you know, you get a Facebook page, or even if you don't have a Facebook page, just you know, share it with your friends. Mm -hmm. Ask them to share it, um, and then people who you don't even know will keep sharing. So, yeah. Yeah. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching my segment. If you want to see the rest of the interview, it'll be up on my channel, Tyler's Art Shack. Until next time, I'll see you all later. The next segment is called. Underviewed Artist of the Month. It is put together by Yaz Creative, and Yaz chooses one artist who she thinks deserves more views. Many artists like to share their work on YouTube, but far from everyone managed to reach out to a wider audience. With this part of the art news, we would like to highlight artists on YouTube who put lots of effort into sharing their artwork with us. This is the art of Star Twister, who specialise in space art, using soft pastel crayons on a black background. 
According to Star Twister, there is other space painters on YouTube. Most of them use spray paint, acrylic paint or computer programs. He feels he is rare in his choice of technique. He has been doing space art for 12 years and also create the music used in his videos. As most of us, Star Twister would appreciate more engagement in his videos. He is keen to his subscribers and make tutorials out of request. What gives him most in sharing his art is to see others being inspired by his work and try it for themselves. There is nothing that can be so encouraging as it can be to get feedback from someone who appreciates your art. We will conclude the first episode of YouTube Art News with a word from executive producer Meryl Kazanjian. Hey everybody, it's Meryl, and I wanted to uh, take a second to tell you what this show is all about. Um, essentially, it's about you. It is about artists who upload to YouTube uh, who have been, you know, underviewed to this point, massively underviewed. Um, I think that artists have contributed uh, a lot to YouTube and we are not getting the recognition that we deserve. So whenever there's a need for something, uh, people have stepped in throughout history and tried to fill the gaps. What we're trying to do is fill the gaps. There's a great thing that YouTube has, uh, a booming art community. There's over, there's millions and millions of vi art videos on YouTube. Um, and it kind of makes me mad that, uh, you know, there's categories about pets and animals and the Metropolitan Museum of Art has to upload into a, the education category, which doesn't even have an art subcategory. Um, this is a very, very much a, a personal thing for me. Um, I was an art teacher for nine years of my career and, you know, I lost my job due to budget cutbacks uh, on several occasions, three times actually. Um, you know, for not doing a bad job, but because people decided that art is less important. Um, YouTube is one of the places where art is absolutely booming. So, you know what, we have to highlight uh, the great stuff that's going on. Um, I wanted to take a second to thank uh, everybody that I'm working with. Uh, the six channels that I'm working with, they did an amazing job. Um, Tyler's Art Shack, Yaz Creative, Orange Monkey 92. Uh, Josh Wadi 16, um, Thad Taylor Art, and Matthew Keeney. Uh, they have been amazing to work with. Um, I, I want to finish this little speech that I'm doing at the end by saying, please go check out their channels. I have, um, you know, I have all of their channels around my head right now. Um, if you like their work, subscribe to them. Um, they're all, you know, good people, hardworking people. Get the thumbs up from me. So, uh, and also, they're going to be the ones that are covering you, so you might want to get in contact with them. Um, last reminder, you know, if you have something to report, if you have something that you think needs coverage, post it to our Facebook page, uh, and we're all going to be checking that Facebook page. We want to make this interactive. We want to make this about you, so um, we're depending upon you to give us the uh, information that we need for coverage on this show. We're going to be having this show once per month. Um, it's going to be the 15th of every month. And uh, I wanted to, well, let me just stop talking now. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And I hope that you enjoyed the first episode. Definitely let us know what you think in comments. We're going to be reading those, too. Thanks a lot.